Hey guys, Zix here. Time for the next Sail Tech Ages 3.12 tutorial. Today we're going to get started with immersive engineering. You're going to get yourself the engineer's manual, and when you open it up and start to read it, you may find yourself getting very overwhelmed, but don't worry. A lot of this is actually very, very simple once you understand how certain things work. Linking. No, stop linking. That's okay. So, wooden posts. Get yourself these wooden posts. It is a fantastic might be and give myself stuff yeah a fantastic thing it's very easy to make you should know how to make the treated wood fences by now which is just the treated wood uh, and the treated wood is just planks around uh, creosote which you should have a ton of creosote at this point I don't want those go away um, uh, you place them just so you are aware the max distance between any wire connection is 15 blocks in a straight line if you try to go 15 blocks in an angled line it's not gonna work you have to go seven blocks in an angled line or 15 blocks in a straight line. It's not gonna work. My advice to you, if you're going to use these posts, and I suggest you do, is that you use HV wire connectors or relays. Now, let's have a quick little chat before we proceed in my little death point over there. HV, MV, LV. Anything you connect has to be to an HV, an MV, or an LV. If you have an LV, you gotta go to LV capacitors. If you have LV connector on a something or other, a generator or whatever, you have to you put it into an LV uh, relay uh, before you connect to anything else. The only exception is transformers, but we'll get into that in a moment. If you are going to transfer power over long distances, my suggestion is to use HV wire relays on top of these wooden posts. You could just put them on top of fences. You don't have to put them on these wooden posts, but I think they're pretty. So my advice is to go ahead and do that. Uh, you can expand upon these, uh, but for now, the single wooden post with the single wire, good enough. So if we are to go ahead and connect, boop, one right click, one right click, see the wire, don't touch this wire. Now there's no power running through it, and I'm in creative, so you're good, but see how it's up there? I can't even jump on it and hit it. Just be careful if you're bouncing around with your sling boots or whatever, because if you hit this, it's going to hurt you. Uh, and depending on how much power is going through it, it could kill you. There is armor that you can wear that can protect you, and if you're working on uh, some of your machines later down the road, you may consider doing that. Uh, but either way, my suggestion is to use HV because it doesn't limit you. The LV is in the MV. They have maxes that you can reach pretty quickly as you advance, uh, so my suggestion is HV. However, some of the machines you're going to use, like the pump jack for example, you don't want to put too much power into. If you're generating enough power to max out this HV wire and you throw it into that pump jack, you're going to lose it. So that's where the HV transformer comes into play. This way. The good thing about the HV transformer, even though it's crafted, whoops, even though it's crafted with an MV wire connector, you can downgrade to an LV wire. As you can see, boop, it lets us, it lets us connect. I need to get rid of it. I don't want to link anymore, go away. Um, you can connect it uh, to an, an LV to output wherever you want. Uh, you will need to use a transformer though. Don't, don't make the mistake that I made. Uh, <laughs> um, Anywho, uh, you also want to make sure you use these relays uh, and not connectors, uh, because if you use the connector, sure, I'll just show you, show you what will happen. Boop. You use the connector, me back, HV wire, connecting to the relay, connecting over here. Oh, now we want to connect this. Oh, you can't attach this wire here. HV wire connectors only have one input or output. They can be either input or output, however, they only have one, uh, so you are going to want to use relays uh, so that you can connect more than one. Like I so, and then boop, and then a boop. There you go. It looks a little funky because it's real close, but don't worry, it is actually connected. Um, next thing we want to talk about are capacitors. And we want to take care of that. Same general philosophy. 
with the HV, the LV, and the LV, you do not want to put MV, you can't put MV into an LV, it just, it simply won't work. You can't put MV into an HV, all, obviously, back and forth. There are three inputs, or three selections. There's nothing, there's blue, there's orange. Nothing means no input. If you have a connector on there, it will not do anything. Blue is an input, orange is an output. These things act as batteries, and they can be transferred portably. So if you don't have the resources or the patience to do these long power lines, you can fill up some capacitors at your power generation and then move them accordingly to where you want them. But again, you gotta be careful because if you fill this guy up with HV and then you plug it into a machine that can't handle all of that power, you're gonna blow it up. So if you're gonna fill up HV capacitor, which makes sense, it has a higher battery, uh, make sure you bring an HV transformer with you to power it down a little bit uh, or else you could have a bad day. Now some of the machines, they can handle as much power as you can give them, but some of the machines can not. Okay, I think that about covers us here. Uh, and this, you can have multiples on either side, so you can input here and you can output here. Um, wouldn't really make sense much sense to do that at like your power generation, but when you pick it up and walk it, you already have the output ready. Because if I was to pick this up, it would, it would save the uh, settings I have on there. So next, we're going to go over to the engineer's workbench. Very easy to make. When you open it up, at first, uh, it can be a little bit confusing because uh, one of the first things you're asked to make are these vacuum tubes. And it, a little mis, a little. It's a, it doesn't really explain a whole lot what you're what you're supposed to do. Uh, but once you get the hang of it, again, why don't we spell engineer right? Very simple. So when you hold shift, it's going to tell you everything it can craft. This one is the one you're going to use 99% of the time. This one you'll use, what, eight times and then you'll throw it away. And then these guys you may not even need, uh, but you may decide you want them. Um, but go ahead and make this. It's easy to make. It's just blue dye powder, uh, a blue flower and a mug grinder, some paper and a steel plate, which you should know how to make at this point. Uh, you put that in here and it shows you everything you can make and look at that it actually tells us the rest of the materials we need now and you can put them in this crafting grid in any order you want and they will pop up over here and you just click them and bring them into your inventory and bob's your uncle very easy once you get the hang of it next we have the projector the projector is took me a long time to figure out because what it says is misleading. It says craft with engineer's manual. Well, it looks like I can craft it in the workbench, Zix. That's not what it means. So let's say we're ready to build the pump jack and we're looking at this like, uh, how do I get it into this projector? I've seen people on YouTube use it, but when I go like this, it doesn't do anything. I try to put them on top of each other. It doesn't work. You're actually going to craft them. Survival inventory, please. Oh, I gotta get out of I gotta get out of creative. You're gonna actually craft them in this box together, and now it actually is gonna show it to you. Now you're gonna right-click and it's gonna give it to you one layer at a time. Guess what? We have the materials. Well, first things first, it's the fluid pipe. It will even highlight. I actually didn't mean to do that, but I, I think it goes there anyway. I have a bad mouse. It's gonna highlight all the spots where those blocks go. It doesn't auto build, but that's okay. Finish that layer, it will give us the next, and it looks like that was supposed to go there. But I didn't mean to place it, so now I'm consumed. That's not correct. It is not correct. Okay, good. Glad I did that. Treated wood fence. Like a so. We have two more of these. Here. Oh, not that. This one. Now, as you can see, it turned red. And I took that off of my box. So it went away. Oop. And then we want this one here. And then it's going to give us the next one. It's this block. Two more fences. And then that is this. Is that the block of steel? I think so. No. What is that? I 
Yeah, it's the block of steel. I didn't have it high. I didn't have it in my inventory. Remove the ones that aren't true, or else it's gonna screw up. And then it looks like we have one more here. And it is done. So now we're going to take our engineer's hammer and we're gonna come over to this engineering block. No. Yeah, there it is. This one right here. Hold shift and right click and it will create the machine. And now we have ourselves the machine that we are looking for. Now we need to give this bad boy power. Uh, let me, I'm going to, I'm gonna bring the wires over here uh, so that we can get this connected and then we'll be right back. Hold on a second. Alrighty, we are back. The power, by the way, goes on the top right here, if you're wondering. I did use a transformer, now it looks like it's connecting there, but it's not, it's connecting there. It's another visual glitch, don't worry about it. But we have our HV wire relay going into an HV transformer, which is powered down to an LV. This can only handle 1024 volts per tick, and the HV wires can transfer faster than that. So like I said, do not give this full power, uh, you're gonna have a bad day. The fluids itself comes out of both of these sides, uh, as if you have a connector. Uh, and of course, you want to pump them into a tank, um, and you're going to you're going to um, gonna have to research what is in each each section. But we're going to get into that in the next episode, which is going to be actual power generation. Uh, so, if you have any questions on anything I went over here today. The next part, I should say, the next episode is probably going to be a let's play. But the next tutorial part for immersive engineering will be actual power generation and all the options that we have in Semtech Ages 3.12. Thank you guys so very much for watching. If I missed up anything, let me know. If you think I left something out, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.